hello there. Today we're going to make Pennsylvania Dutch Chow Chow. Welcome to Joellen's Kitchen. What you're going to find is most times at the end of the season, anything you have extra could possibly, if it's a vegetable, go into the chow chow. But there are some staples that you want to include. Things like red kidney beans. I have my bowl to start mixing things. They're already cooked, so I'm going to put those in here. One can or one cup, if you have a cup left, that's fine too. Most things are in one can or one cup. And then you want some sort of a white bean. It could be a butter bean. I happen to have garbanzo beans here. And they're already cooked as well. We also have the opportunity put in some sweet gherkins. I just bought the sweet gherkins and cut them into little cubes or whatever across the center. And I got a cup of those. I'm going to put those in. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh yes, I already cooked off my corn on the cob. This is one big corn in the cob. It makes one cup. So I'm going to put in my corn. That's already cooked. And then I'm just going to run through the litany of what I have. Oh yes, I didn't, couldn't find white wax beans at this time, so I got some white asparagus which was canned and it's already cooked. So I'm going to put that in. They're cut into one inch strips. But, oh, and my lima beans, I cooked those as well. They were frozen. I didn't have those fresh. So they're ready to go in. There's a cup of those. And the things that are left, are going to have to be cooked. We have a cup of each. I have carrots, celery. Here I have a cup of mixed red, orange, and yellow peppers. Here I have a cup of cauliflower heads, just little tiny pieces of it. One inch cuts of, this. Is, these are sugar peas, not a must, but nice to put in a cup of one inch cut green beans and one cup of kind of chopped up cabbage. I'm going to cook all of those off and then get them till they're just tender enough, cool them down and then put them in with the rest of our ingredients. So let's go to the old stove. Here's my array of what needs cooked yet. From experience I know some things take longer to cook than others. So I'm going to start by putting in my cup of carrots and my cup of celery, my green beans. I think I'm going to leave the rest go and let these get a head start. We'll be back. While those things are cooking, let me just tell you that this chow chow can be eaten alone as a side dish or it can be used as a relish, a garnish, if you will. It's just lots of fun and I think it's very tasty. So we also have to cook off a syrup. Now this is not a thick syrup. It is very light and uh, it's gonna have the sweet and sour. Here we have two cups or 16 ounces of apple cider vinegar. I got the right size bottle because I normally use white vinegar but for today, we're going to use the apple cider vinegar. We're going to put that into our mixing bowl. Actually, it's a pot to cook it. That is very bitter, but it also stimulates your digestive system, immune system, all those kinds of things. We're also going to put in two cups of water. So now essentially we have four cups of liquid in there, a teaspoon and a half of salt. And you can measure that out. I just happen to use it on my hand. You want four cups of sugar. We're going to put that in. And then I like to put in just one clove. It just gives it a little snap. We can dip, fish that clove out after it's done cooking. And likewise, one cinnamon stick just gives it a special little flavor. Now if you don't have celery, you can substitute celery seed, but then you might want to strain it out. Uh, again, just like the clove and the cinnamon. 
one teaspoon of allspice. And this one you can choose to put in or not. And that would be either a teaspoon or a tablespoon of turmeric. And again, that has to do with health. So you can put that in or not if you don't like the taste. But with all the other great things in there, you might not even notice it. What we're going to do is bring this to a boil. When all of our vegetables um, are done and drained, we're going to add them to the blue bowl with the other ingredients. And we'll probably just use our hands to gently toss all of the vegetables together. And then we're going to place them into the boiling syrup. And we're going to just let it simmer for five minutes. Then it's all about deciding if you want to can it so it, you have it all winter, or just put it in the containers in the refrigerator for your family and or for giving with uh, friends and neighbors. So um, today, we're just going to do the giving part, but it's just a fun thing. And again, if you end up substituting one kind of bean for another because it's not available and you're taking it from your garden, that's okay. But the odd couple of carrots or, um, you know, an odd corn in the cob, whatever, all that can be used to make this wonderful relish or side dish known as chow chow. Time to add the rest of the vegetables to cook. We're going to get the snap peas. And by the way, the strings were already off of these. That was so cool. When I was a kid, Grandma would have me peeling and snapping the ends. Here we have our, our cabbage, our peppers, and our cauliflower. Okay, they're all in there. We'll stir them up just a bit and let them finish cooking. And then we're going to strain it and make sure that we have the extra juice out that they cooked in because we're going to be making the syrup. See how colorful it is? It looks good enough to eat just like that, but the taste with all of the sweet and sour syrup, oh my goodness, it is to die for. Okay, time to drain these vegetables. I put some cold water, I have a like fiberglass sink. And if you put a lot of hot water directly on it, you can crack it. So I always put a little cold water in there first. So then all I have to do is lift up my strainer and let the water drain out. Now we're going to go back over to our table, put these cooked vegetables in with the other ones that were ready, and we're going to blend them together. The original vegetables that we already had prepared and the newly cooked off vegetables. By the way, I taste tested the different kinds to make sure they were done, but not overcooked. We don't want them raw, but we don't want them overcooked either. So there they are, all in there together. The bottom ones are not hot, so hopefully that will cool the top ones enough for me. And we'll get those beans. By the way, I forgot to mention, make sure you drain your beans as well. Get all that extra juice off. And we're going to be left with a wonderful mixture of vegetables. And jerkins, they're pickles. Oh boy, it looks so nice just so. But with that sweet and sour sauce, again, it just tastes fantastic. Some of my corn in the cob is still in one piece. I better break that up a little bit we get smaller pieces throughout. Perhaps with the simmering it will also work. I'm going to estimate we have about eight pints or 16 cups of vegetables here, all cubed or in one inch pieces. And um, that's going to make a lot of salad, isn't it? So if you're going to a picnic, it'd be a great thing to take along. Take some time to make it but it's with love. Okay, I'm gonna go check on my syrup when it's boiling. We're going to put these vegetables in, turn off the, turn the heat on low, and just simmer it for five minutes so that the flavor seeps through. Right now we're dissolving the sugar in the hot water. We left the syrup boil, added the vegetables, brought it back up just about to a boil, and turned the heat down to let it simmer for five minutes and absorb some of that sweet and sour juice. 
So now I'm going to put it into containers for sharing and also to eat for later for myself and my husband. We're going to stick these to the side as they come out. Now, if you were going to do some canning, you would put them perhaps into pint or quart jars, put the lid on it, set them in water, let them boil till the lid sucks tight, and then take them off. And then you screw the top on, and in a cool, dark cellar, you could keep them for a year. In the refrigerator, you can keep them no less than a week. But with that cider vinegar, I know my refrigerator, it really is cold and it keeps things a really long time. And uh, I'm thinking two to three weeks, mine would be good, but you have to know your refrigerator, but definitely a week. But we're putting some of the juice and vegetables in there together to cool down. And we'll see how many of these. I did make a, hmm, I guess at least a pint jar to take over to my daughter and my grandchildren to try. And looks like I'm going to get, if I would fill all of these up, probably eight of those. But I think my friend Rachel, I just got some more honey from her. That's what was in this jar. I think I'm going to give her a jar of my chow chow for her and her family. I don't know how they'll like it, but Hopefully they'll enjoy it. So I'm going to make a pint for her. Rachel, it's coming your way. It's a little syrupy right now, but we'll let it cool down there and I'll wipe it off. I think I can still get one more container. I might have a little extra juice left and I might keep that. Because, oh, one of the things you can do at the end of the season too, if you have a lot of green tomatoes left on your vine, Oh my goodness, this is a great um, juice to put those in and they'll keep and they taste really good. So this sweet and sour juice can be used to pickle a couple of different things. And you know what? Something I told you not to forget, I see on the bottom here and I'm going to fish it out right now. There's my cinnamon stick. I pulled that out. <laughs> so I'll lay that off to the side. And just finish putting these vegetables in here. And then I'll have three, six, eight of these, um, which I think are 12 ounces. So I'll have eight of those and then two pint containers for um, my family and friends that don't live in this house. So it's been a lovely day sharing how to make chow chow with you. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try this chow chow. Wow, it really pops, it's great. Hope you like the sweet and sour because it is full of sweet and sour. It's delicious and the vegetables are healthy. A really good side dish or relish.